Hi everyone, welcome to Dance with MMDG. My name is Nicole Sabella and I'm a dancer with the Mark Morris Dance Group. I'm here today in my Brooklyn apartment. I've made some room to dance. So if you need to make some room in your space so that you're comfortable and can move your body, please feel free to press pause now and go ahead and do that. So dance with MMDG. That means dancing for the whole family, all ages, abilities, and levels. Um, that is a class that we offer to our community. It's a free class, but if you're feeling in the giving spirit, if you can contribute, uh, there's a link below to our Dance on Recovery Fund for this time during COVID-19. Again, the link is below, a suggested donation of $10, um, but any less or any more is uh, greatly appreciated. We'd be so grateful. Um, so yes, uh, today, Dance with MMDG, as I said, we're moving our bodies. Since we're all different levels, if you need to modify things to suit you, go for it. The important thing is, is that we're up and moving and we're having a good time and a good experience. So do what you need to do, just stick with us. Um, and today we will be warming up and then learning a repertoire from L'Allegro, excerpts from L'Allegro. The full name is L'Allegro Il Penseroso ed Il Maturato. Uh, that is one of Mark's most masterful, um, uh, famous pieces on a grand scale. It's a Baroque opera music by Handel, uh, and it, the company premiered it in 1988. So it's one of the most beloved works. I'm really happy to share it with you today. I think you're going to love it. I know L'Allegro already has a bunch of fans. So if you are one of those fans that love L'Allegro, um, stick with me today. But then also my um, coworker, my fellow dancer, my good friend, Brandon Cornet, he will also be teaching different excerpts from L'Allegro on Saturday. So we've got a L'Allegro theme for the week here with Dance with MMDG. Let's get our bodies moving and nice and warm so that we can move on to learning the rep. Okay. All right, so we're up. We're gonna start with plies, our legs in a parallel position. Um, that's like railroad tracks or number 11, facing forward. And we are going to gather and do a plie, which means to bend. We're gonna to go to the right and gather our arm over top of us. That's four counts. Another four counts, and we have the sun over our head. Then we'll burst open for two, our chest to the ceiling, and coming back up. And we have that sun over our head. Now we're, the rain is going to fall to the right, to the left, and forward, and up. Nice, everyone. Now we'll have down for two in a deep plie position, and up for two. And then we plie, move to first position, ready for the other side. I'm going to show that again, facing the diagonal, so you can see from a different angle. So you'll have dig and two, three and four, plie five, six, seven and eight, sun burst open for two, coming back, rain falls five. Six to the front and up. Now we have deep for two and up for two. Bounce to first. Straighten your legs. All right, so that was it in rhythm. One thing I should note, when we're doing the deep plies, if that's too much for you, if your knees aren't feeling it, we can always do two more demi plies bending our knees. So we had parallel position. We've just moved to first. We'll repeat that same thing. Opening, raining down to a grand plie. And first is a little different. The heels come up. And then we'll have bounce step to second. To do all of this again in second, la la la. We'll stay in second, repeating it. And the only difference is that we'll start on the right side. From here, yes, all the same. The rain, I'm sorry, we'll start on the left side. The rain will come on the left. Yes, all the same. Just the only difference is that it's starting right, parallel first and second, and then it's starting left, uh, second, 
first and parallel. So from second, we'll come back to first, and then we'll do parallel. All right, I think we got it. I'll be here with you along the way. You could follow along the whole time. Let me get the music going for us. shining down on us is a nice idea. All right, starting again in our parallel position. Time to get our feet warm. I should tell you I'm wearing sneakers in my apartment because my tile floor is so hard. So whatever you need to wear that's best for you, um, please, please do so. Socks, barefoot, shoes, um, whatever works for you. So we're going to start with two half points. We're going to start on our right leg, half and half. If I turn to the side, you can see that I'm on my, um, the ball of my foot and the other ball of my foot, like that. And then I will have, just as if I'm rolling through the feet, like this. So I'm lifting up my right, I'm putting it down, lifting up my left, coming down, and then I'm going to lift up my right again and come back to our first position when our heels are kissing together. But all that happens facing forward. So we're going to have one, two, and three, four, lifting up the right leg, five, six, we're in first. And then we push the world away and up. Let's try that one more time. Half point, half point, through the feet, open to first, Push the world and up. We've got that sun over our head again. Now we have our tendus, which means to stretch. So we're going to stretch our toes and our feet really far away from us. We're going to go with the right leg, close with the left leg, close. Now to the side, right leg and left leg. 
Now I'm going to reach really high in this diagonal with my right arm and right leg. Reaching high, let it fall down low. Reaching high to the front. We're going to reset to the other side. So now we have left and right and through the feet. Open to first push the world away. To the front, left leg, right leg, and left leg, and right leg. And then I'm going to reach way up there, high and low and high to the front. All right, so that's either side. That will happen um, to the right and to the left. There will be a difference when we come back again to do the right again. We're going to push and look up to the sky and our arms will stay out. We forgot one direction of our tandu, so we'll go tandu back, tandu back, tandu side, tandu side, and then this is the same. Really reaching up high, really reaching down low, up high to the front. Okay, same thing on this side. Yeah, left, right, left, right, high and low and high to the front. I think we can do that all together. Again, I'm here along the way. So let's have a good time. later, by the way. Um, so these moves appear within the two hour long opera, um, but I've mixed them all up to make this combination for us today. So we're going to start on our right leg with our right arm out to the side. Our ear is resting on that right arm. So we're going to have one and two, and we're on the other side, three and four. Okay, let's do those moves again. Dropping our head and curving our back. One and two, swinging up. Three and four. Now we're going to take four steps around in a circle. With uh, I'm stepping on my left leg and my left arm is in front of me curved. Five, six, seven, eight. Coming to a little passe there. We won't hold it for long. We have swing and up, then swing and up. Four steps, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. Now we have our arms going to the left. My left wrist is uh, facing my left side, I guess you could say, and 
The right wrist is opposite. I should come to the screen. This happens a lot in L'Allegro. Can you see how my wrists are? Yeah? Okay. It's a funny coordination, so you could go ahead and try it a couple times. But we're going to go, we just walked around. We're going to go left and right. And then we're going to go, it's similar, we're going to sweep the floor. Sweeping left, looking left, sweeping right. And prepare the other side. So that will go like this. One, two, three, four, walking, five, six, seven, and eight. Going right, going left, going right, going left. Prepare again. Great. We're going to do that four times. Then I'll stop the music. We'll make it just a little bit harder and then we'll do it again um, with those additions. Let's go over this part one more time. We have our right arm out. We'll have one, two, three, two, three, two, three, four, around five and a six, big step, seven, up, eight, to the side, to the right, sweep the floor, sweep the floor, prepare other side and a down, and a down. We go walk. Six, seven, passe, eight, up and over. And a left. Going right, going left. Prepare again. We're totally ready to do the music. double time. So in the time that we did two swings, we're going to do four. Right? Because before we went one and two and three and four, now we're going to go one and two and three and four. Right? We did four in the place of two. Now instead of doing four steps, we're going to have six with a little hop. So going around one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you don't have to do a big giant jump. My ceiling's a little low, that wouldn't be good. I'm just gonna hop on that leg. Okay, from the top. One, two, three, and four, six steps. Two, three, four, five, six, up, seven, eight. Now I'm gonna step over my, my uh, right leg is going to go out to the side when I have that torso. So I'm leaning to the left, but my right leg's just a little bit off the floor. Uh, left, stepping, step, step, other side, leaning right, left leg's off the floor, step, step. Okay, let's go over from the walk again, six steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, up, seven, eight, one, two, step, step, one, two, step, step. Good. So when I have my right leg up in the air, 
I'm gonna step onto it, yeah? So I just keep stepping from one leg to the other. Left leg's up in the air, I step onto it. Now these will be little jumps when we sweep the floor. Sweeping to the left, sweep, sweep, prep, other side. I think we could try other side now. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, three, four, five, six, up, seven, eight. Step, 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 out, step, step. Little jump, little jump, prep, other side. Okay, pretty good. So we had sort of the skeleton of the combination before, and now we added on to it, we colored it in, okay? Let's talk about um, how to transition through things. So I think we have no problem with doing uh, four swings, two, three, four. Those are quick six steps. Stepping one. My left leg's up in passe. That same leg is the leg I'm gonna step out on. Stepping left, right, left, right, left, right. So I'm gonna sweep the floor to the direction I just walked in. Sweep with a little jump, sweep with a little hop, prepping other side. Okay, let's go ahead and give that a try. Just the fast version, I'm here with you. come down if you're me <laughs> and I'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more about L'Allegra. See you in a minute. All right everybody. So we, as I said, we're going to be learning sections from L'Allegro Il Penseroso ed Il Moderato. I have this book. It's one of the most beautiful things I think I've ever gotten for myself. It's a beautiful book about this dance specifically. So this dance has a long, long history that even started in the 1600s. So I want you to go on a little time travel with me. Let me find the information here. Okay, see these guys? They have all been a big part of making this dance throughout centuries. So here we have John Milton. In the 1600s, he wrote beautiful poems uh, with both l'allegro, meaning happy or joyful, and penseroso, um, sort of somber, reflective. And uh, moderato maybe came later, and that's more in the middle, melancholy. Um, so he wrote the text for this music way back in the 1600s. He started it all. Now we have George Frederick Handel. He's the second guy there, you see him? Yeah, okay. He then was so inspired by the poetry and the text that he wrote beautiful music with orchestration and uh, Baroque operatic singing. And the text of the singing is John Milton's text. 
So he tied it all together in such gorgeous music. Then later, even later, in the 1800s, um, let's see, I am forgetting this here. William Blake made lovely watercolor paintings, both inspired by the text and the music. And these paintings would later inspire Mr. Mark Morris uh, when he made his dance. Um, and the dance, as I said, premiered in 1988. You can see in parts of the dance um, almost exact images that were from the watercolors. Okay, so these are, these are our main people, these main guys who contributed to this wonderful piece of art that culminated with Mr. Mark Morris. Okay, we had John Milton, George Frederick Handel, William Blake, and then Mr. Mark Morris. Some of you might know him. Okay, so that's a long time, right? Starting in the 1600s. This dance, um, as I said, is a Baroque opera, often performed in a big opera house. Um, a very big cast, 24 dancers. That's a lot of moving bodies. So um, I wanted to share with you today something from the uh, Hansel and Gretel section. It's a section that isn't often... Um, taught very much, but I thought we could do a creative exercise together and we could use our imaginations and make our bodies move like the characters within the dance. Okay, I want to read you the poem. Let me find it here. Okay, this is a picture from Hansel and Gretel, L'Allegro. That means it's a happier section. I'll just read this to you really quickly. Let me wander not unseen by hedge grow elms on hillock green. There the plowman near at hand whistles over the furrowed land, and the milkmaid singeth blithe, and the mower wets his scythe, and every shepherd tells his tale under the hawthorn in the dale. Okay, but what in the world does that mean, right? We have Today, we're going to explore both the plowman and the milkmaid. So, when I think plowman, I think someone tilling the soil, right? He's a part of a farmland. He is raking, he's digging up with a shovel. But our plowman is also whistling in the poem. So, I invite you, I'm going to play the music, and we will enact a plowman. I want to see your shovels, I want to see your rakes, I want to see you digging, and I want to see you whistling, okay? There's no right or wrong, have fun, let's see your plowman. Let me see your shape, just one shape, plowman shape. Here we go. However you want. Maybe you're whistling over the garden, the farm. Now we're digging again. We have a big machine. Keep going, Plowman. I want to see your plow. That's it. Great. I know you were amazing, Plowland. I could see the farm right there. Good. So what else happens in this poem that I read um, is a milkmaid. Yes. So what does a milkmaid do? She is responsible for milking the cows. All day long she spends milking the cows to then make dairy products like cheese and milk and butter. Yes, and then she delivers it uh, to the people in the town. So let's think about our milkmaid. What will our milkmaid be like? First she has to milk the cows, right? Then maybe she turn, churns her butter and then she has to deliver all of that dairy product out and around. Uh, but our milkmaid also sings in the poem, so we can put that in there too. 
Okay, think, think, think about your milkmaid. Here we go. <laughs> Show me your milkmaid position. Maybe she's down low. Here we go. That's it. Make your milkmaids. Now she's singing, right? Beautiful singing. Can you churn the butter? And delivering your butter out to the people in the neighborhood. And show me your last milkmaid pose. Great job, plowmen and milkmaids. I love how the music of L'Allegro, many, much of the text is enacted in the dance. And that's what happens in this section is that Hansel and Gretel see all these amazing characters like the plowman and the milkmaid. All right, so that was super fun. Thanks for doing that with me. Okay, let's see. The next section we're gonna uh, learn some awesome moves by is populous cities. So populous cities is, uh, it's sort of at the beginning of the second act. And it's, it's, it's almost like you're walking around in a busy metropolitan city like New York City. Um, and there's all these people going in and out and in and out. But then there's a B section where it sort of slows down and gets a little bit more tender. And um, the female identifying people of the cast are facing the male identifying people of the cast and there's a little bit of flirtation and um yes so they they dance toward each other and then at the end they pair off they each find a little couple amongst each other so i'd like to teach you the ladies part and then if you tune in on saturday to see brandon um he will teach the male part and then you'll know the whole b section of uh, populous cities. Okay, great. Okay, so we're going to start sort of in this very statuesque position. And we're on our right leg, and our right leg is up, right arm is up in the air rather, and our left arm is down a little lower. From here, we have two sways back and forth. We're swaying to the left and back up, to the left and back up. Now when I'm swaying, I'm looking back sort of to my left hand and then back at my right hand. And also, as I'm swaying, my hand is going behind me and up, behind and up. All right, we do two of those, guys. And then we take this whole shape like this. So I'm shifting onto my left leg and I'm taking that whole shape around. So it's a full turn around and then pushing back into our statue shape. So we have and swing and up and swing and up, whole shape around and push. Nice. From here, I'm gonna drop behind me over my right shoulder, coming back up. So from here, I'm making this shape, but behind me. Can you see how my hands come down? They're sort of uh, one over the other. Yeah, so I'm in my statue shape. I'm going over my right shoulder and twisting my legs and my head drops and my hands go down and then my hands pop open to sort of make a chalice with my hands. They go pop. All right, from the beginning. We have back and uh, up, and back and uh, up, whole shape around, and push, hands down, and chalice. Gorgeous. Let's try that much with music. Okay. Let's see your statue. Nice. 
you sort of get an idea of how the music is there. Let's see. Okay. So we just dropped down and made our chalice. Now we want to uh, present our right arm is up high, and I stepped my right leg out also. And I'm sort of leaning forward. Um, coming back, that happens two times. Nice. And then we have four sways. We're looking, remember the men are opposite us in the dance. So we're looking around four times. Okay, let's go from the beginning. In our statue, we have sway two times and around and push, drop, chalice, present, home, present, home, and we're searching left, right, left. Good. So from chalice, we have those two leaning forward presentations and then four searching moves. Good. Really searching there. Now we're going to step on that right leg and open our arms up to the front. So stepping on the right leg open, stepping behind on the left leg, dropping our torso down. And then remember this move, our tendu from before, and we lean back a little bit. So we did search, two, three, four, giving open, stepping back, presenting, and then we have two quick steps. Step right, left, stepping back, and presenting. That is part one of the B section. Let's go from um, chalice. So we just went back behind us, chalice over our heads. Present and home. Present and home, searching one, two, Keep looking, four, and open, step back, open, right, left, back, hold, hold, hold. So I'm sort of, I'm leaning back in my tondu a little bit, and my hands are open, I want my heart open, because remember, we're, we're sort of flirting a little bit with the people uh, opposite us. Let's try that all again. We have sway, and sway, and around, and push, drop, chalice, present, present, search, two, three, four, open, step back, tendu, right, left, step back, present, and hold. So from here, we'll have a, a repeat, basically, with a little bit of variation. But I think we should try what we know first with the music. OK. Let me see your beautiful statue. Great, everybody. I could feel how graceful you were just then. Okay, so we ended in our tandu with the left leg with an open heart and open arms. Now from here, we'll repeat the same. We're just gonna step back with that left leg. Back, uh, statue, and back, statue. Again, coming around, whole shape. Push, drop down chalice and we have one extra beat here to come home so that's the first change from the first part of this b section to the second part so we did 
chalice and we add a whole move. Here it gets a little bit different, but all moves you basically know. So we have another step out, coming home. Here we're just gonna jump up in the air and toss our hands up like that. So we're gonna go toss and down, and then another present. Okay, so that's not so bad. We went over our shoulder, we did chalice, extra beat. And out, so tay up, and out. Yes, good. Here, only two searches. Search and search, that was stepping right and left. And now I want you to pretend like you get to choose. You're either telling a secret or you're listening to a secret and you're gossiping about the people opposite you and deciding which one you'd like to be a couple with, okay? So from here you did search and search and you go, oh, did you, do you see him? Yeah, or you, that happens in your head, whatever it is, or you're listening to somebody. And then you step back to where you were, weight on your left leg. Okay, going back as though we had just finished part one. Sweep behind and up, behind and up, whole shape, around, drop down, chalice, home, present, and up, one more present, two searches, search, search, and secret, back, okay, good. So we have a present, a saute, another present, two searches, some kind of secret, listening or telling, and then coming back, weight on the left leg. Now this is a variation on the other opening the heart moves. So from here, we're gonna step on our right leg and back two and hold. Then we're gonna step right, left, and back, left, right, and back. Okay, so that footing is a little challenging. Let me see here. We just did secret, my weight's on my left leg. I'm gonna step on my right, cutting my left leg back and into this tendu position, leaning back. And then I'm gonna go right, left, back, open, left, right, back. Now, from the side, you could see that I'm sort of bending down my upper spine and then leaning back. And then bending down in my upper spine and leaning back. Right, I'm not leaning from my hips. I'm trying to do from my upper spine there. It's very graceful and, and lovely and sort of tender. Let's go over again from the restart, the whole thing. Ready to go. Restart back. And sway, whole shape, around, down, and up, extra beat. Present, so tay up, and present, two searches, and secret, step back, two, hold, hold, and down, and down. Right, good, that was it. So from here we have step and down, step and down, step. That's a little bit better rhythm, a better way for me to explain that rhythm to you. So I think we should go ahead and try this three whole times all together. It's nice and slow, very graceful, lovely, a nice way to move. So imagine those people across from you and how you might be flirting or noticing them. Okay, let's try this. Let me get the music going. Repeat. 
Release your knee. Jumping. Two surges. watch once and without dancing and sort of get more imagery and more of an idea of the movements and you could just be going over it in your mind and then we'll try it two more times together. I think that would be good. It always helps me to see what I'm supposed to be doing with my body and then I can execute it better. So I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea of the tone, lets your imagination go a little bit on how you might want to do these Allegro movements. Okay, so again, this is populous cities. This is after a big bustling city um, scene, and this is the B section of that uh, movement. So let's go ahead and try this two times all together. Let me get the music here. right? Something with the music, we stepped on the wrong foot, we're working out some kinks, right? We just learned it. No big deal. Let's take a minute and think about what those might be and then we can have it be even better for our last try. One minute. Okay, see those wheels turn in. Let's go ahead and give it our final try. Thank you. 
down before we say goodbye. One minute. Okay. I'm going to face the diagonal. You face where it's comfortable for you. Ah. Here we go. Reaching arms up. Exhale. Arms up. Last time up. Now we dive inward. Coming to hands on the floor squat. And then we're going to walk out to a downward dog. A frame. Good. You can pedal out your feet. Stretch those calves. Deep breaths. One leg forward if you can. This is uncomfortable. You can stretch the front of your leg in a different way. Reach into the sky. Dropping that knee. Nice big reach. Feels good. Tucking the toes. Coming to a triangle to stretch this hamstring. If you want to hold up that is totally fine. Stepping feet back together. Walking up those legs. Another deep breath in. We're going to dive down. Stretching the lower back. Walking to the downward dog. Beautiful stretching. Stepping the opposite foot forward if you can. Nice stretch. Reaching up to the sky. Dropping that knee down. Long reach. so much for joining me today. We did a lot. We had a lot of fun. Um, it was my pleasure. Um, let's see. If Again, if you enjoyed this class, if you love Mark Morris Dance Group, if you love our classes and offerings, and if you can contribute, please consider donating to our Dance on uh, Recovery Fund. The link is below. You can find my Spotify play playlist down there too, and even a place where you can give feedback, anything you want to see next time or, or what you enjoyed about the class. Tune in on Saturday to Brandon Cornet's Dance with MMDG at 11 a.m. for even more L'Allegro, more beautiful dancing. And um, visit us again soon. You can always find this video here on YouTube if you want to keep working on those moves. It was my pleasure. Have a beautiful day.